everyone, my name is Andres Herrera and on this video I'm gonna teach you how to ask for advice. Don't forget to subscribe, let's go! Hi, how are you doing? Hey my friend, how are you doing? Nice. Okay, this is one of my best friends and he's an expert at camping. And for this video, I want to ask for some advice on how to go camping. Hi everyone, let's go there. Okay. Okay, the first phrase that we're gonna use when asking for advice is what do you think I should? What do you think I should? For example, what do you think I should take? Or what do you think I should do? What do you think I should eat? Another way to ask for advice is any other ideas? Repeat, any other ideas? This expression is really easy to use and very useful. Now let's imagine that you are the one who is going to give the advice. So what expressions can you use? I have two that I really like. The first one is a good idea is, a good idea is, and then you add your piece of advice. For example, a good idea is to take plenty of water or a good idea is to take a map. You can also use the modal verb should to give advice. For example, you should go to the doctor or you should go to the beach. And the last expression I'm gonna teach you is if I were you. If I were you. This is one of my favorite expressions because it's like if you imagine yourself in the other person's situation. If I were you, I would go to the doctor. Or if I were you, I would go to China. When someone gives you a piece of advice, you can answer back with these two expressions. That's really useful, thanks. Repeat, that's really useful, thanks. That's really useful, thanks. And the second phrase that you can use is thanks, I hadn't thought of that. Thanks, I hadn't thought of that. Now pay attention. In this short clip, we're going to use all the expressions we have learned. The orange expressions are asking for advice. The blue expressions are giving advice. And the purple expressions are responding to advice. Okay, Gustavo, I've never been camping before, so what do you think I should take? Well, if I were you, I would take a map. Sometimes you can't get sign in remote places, so don't rely only on your GPS. That's really useful. Any other ideas? Yes, watch out for any animals at night. A good idea is to make a fire. The heat will keep them away. Oh yes, I hadn't thought of that. Okay, Gustavo, thank you very much for your advice. And one last question. How do you think learners can improve their English? You should subscribe to this channel. Learn English with Cambridge. Learn English with Cambridge. Bye! Yeah.